Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to put a playlist together for you guys with all of my pink stuff cleaning and the different ways that I used the pink stuff around my home. I know you guys have been loving the pink stuff reviews and the different ways to use pink stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Plus, at the very end, I also included a video of the different ways that I used Barkeeper's Friend, and I hope you guys enjoy that as well. So anyway, without too much more talking, let's go ahead and jump into this massive playlist. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Recently, I did a video called 14 ways to use the pink stuff and it was basically a bunch of pink stuff cleaning hacks from tiktok using the miracle cleaning paste and you guys loved that video so much that i decided to do another one and this one there is like nine different uses that i did in this video for you guys there are a couple of them that this did not work that great on but I went ahead and tested it out anyway. I just wanted to see how well it stacked up. So anyway, today I am jumping into some more uses for the pink stuff and sharing some cleaning tips, cleaning hacks, home tips, and giving you an honest review from this TikTok miracle paste called the pink stuff. The first area that I wanted to go ahead and test this pink stuff paste out on was the glass mirror in the bathroom. I have heard that it does really well on glass, so I definitely wanted to test that out, and it did do pretty good. I was impressed with how well it cleaned the glass. I honestly pre prefer the glass cleaner, especially the method glass cleaner, but the pink stuff does do a good job on mirrors and glass. So if you are looking for something that is easy on your glass that you can use to deep clean it, then the pink stuff is definitely something I recommend. Another area that I wanted to test out the pink stuff cream cleaner on was the tiles in my living room that are a part of my dining or not my dining room, but my coffee table. And I really thought I was doing a good job cleaning these, but whenever I scrub them down with the uh, pink stuff, this cleaning paste really showed how disgusting and dirty this tile was in my living room. The water turned out brown. And as you can see while I'm cleaning this, it was absolutely disgusting. So if you need to do any deep cleaning on tile or anything like that, I definitely recommend the pink stuff cleaning paste. It does do a great job. In my last cleaning video where I used the pink stuff, I winded up using it on the grout. I used it on the oven. I also used it on hard water stains and the microwave. There's just so many amazing uses for this miracle cleaning paste and I was super impressed with how well it did clean. So like I said, I did make another video for you guys to check out some more results. There were a couple of areas that did not come up on the floor when I tested that area out. This is just regular um, vinyl flooring, but I had some nail polish and paint on there. The paint did come up, but the nail polish did not. Another area that I tested out was the tile rack in the bathroom. It had two different areas that I wanted to test out, which was paint that had dried on from when I painted the walls and also the stainless steel part of it was really just kind of cakey and nasty. It did do a great job on the steel, but the paint did not come off. The floor, like I said, the nail polish didn't come off, but the paint came off. And then there was also like dried on chocolate milk, things like that. And it worked so good on getting that up. Another area that I tried was a small area that had some permanent marker from one of my kids on the wall. And I thought I would just give it a try. Surprisingly, this pink stuff product, it actually did a pretty good job on removing it. It didn't get the bottom layer of it off, but it definitely got a lot of the permanent marker off, which really surprised me. So I would say that it was probably 50-50 depending on where the permanent marker is, but it did do a pretty decent job as you can see for yourself. 
I had heard that the pink stuff was really good on rust, pans, and stainless steel, things like that. But I've also heard that the pink stuff cleaner is not only good on ovens, but it's also good on concrete outside and also things like bike tire wheels. And I was absolutely shocked at the results. I did test it on an outdoor rug as well. And you can see the results speak for themselves. The concrete came absolutely clean. I did a really small area and then the outdoor rug was pretty disgusting. And by the time I was done, it looked brand new. So these areas did so good as far as the results. I was super impressed with how well the pink stuff worked on them. And then the pink stuff on the bike was an absolute miracle paste cleaning result. Like I said, it really surprised me. The uh, results were absolutely fantastic. The bike wheel looked absolutely brand new. It completely turned white and like I said, you guys can definitely see that for yourself here in a second. In my 14 ways to use the pink stuff TikTok cleaning hacks video, I tried out the pink stuff on so many different areas. I tried using it on the stove tops. I did stainless steel. I also tried it out on oven glass and the microwave. I used it on grout. I also even used it to remove mold. I tested it out on the bottom of pots and pans and I cleaned some wooden cabinets, cookie sheets, and I even deep cleaned my bathroom. The most insane results were my white shoes. This stuff worked so well on my tennis shoes. The before and after was so satisfying. So if you have not checked out 14 ways to use the pink stuff video. I will pop that up here at the end of this one. You absolutely have to check that one out. The results were just absolutely astounding, like I said. And I know that you guys will get some more inspiration and uses for the pink stuff. If you have any ideas on future ideas that I have not used the pink stuff on that you'd like me to test out, let me know down below. I would love to hear your ideas and thoughts on maybe some different areas that haven't been tested out or are not that common or that you would like to see me try the pink stuff out on. Let me know, like I said, down below. And if you do want to see another video, let me know that as well. And if there are any of the pink stuff uses that you have tried personally that you love and would like to share, let us know down in the comments as well. It got me thinking now, should I take it or leave it out? It got me thinking now, and now I'm stuck in this loop. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing 14 ways to use the pink stuff. I am sharing some pink stuff cleaning hacks from TikTok with this miracle cleaning paste. So let's jump into today's video. The first area that I'm going to be testing out this pink stuff on is these little stove pans or I'm not even sure what you call them but I'm going to put them to the side and get those here in a moment. I did want to do a deep clean on those so I kind of wanted to show you some pink stuff before and after cleaning on those. I also wanted to use the pink stuff on the stainless steel underneath the stove part so I lift that up and went ahead and did a deep clean using this miracle cleaning paste the TikTok pink stuff cleanser is made by a company called star drops and is a non-toxic natural environmentally friendly product which as a mom i personally love the pink stuff this cleanser youtube review video is not sponsored but i will link this cleaning paste down below just in case you want to try it out in your home i will say the pink stuff brand does make a ton of other cleaning products if you're interested in trying them i will have those down below for you as well Throughout 
this video, I will be testing out several areas using the Pink Stuff Cleaning Paste. I am not going to be doing an entire clean on every area since that would make this video very long, but I do want to give you an honest review, hacks, tips, and tricks in this 14 ways to use the Pink Stuff TikTok inspired cleaning video. With that said, does the Pink Stuff clean stove tops? As you noticed, on the first area I cleaned, which was stainless steel, it left it super shiny and clean. So now let's see how this pink stuff works as a cleaner on the stove top. I am just using the paste and I do have a scrub brush that I got from another YouTuber a long time ago and I still have been using it, absolutely love it. But they do have the electric little brushes as well that make cleaning a lot easier if you do want to give those a shot. You can order those on Amazon. I will link one of those down below for you as well. This Miracle Cleaner did a good job on the stove. I did have to put some scrubbing behind it, but the pink stuff did remove all the stuck on food and grease off the stove top. I will show you a close up here in a few. The next area I tested the pink stuff cleaner on was the oven glass. Can you use pink stuff on oven glass? Yes. Even better, I have a hack for you to make oven cleaning even easier. Tin foil is the secret. It works as a scrubber and it does not scratch at all. Try it for yourself. You will see what I mean. This is a close up of the oven door after I did deep cleaning using tin foil, water, and the pink stuff cleaning paste. Let me know what you guys think of these results. Do you feel like this is a miracle cleaning paste and that the name is worth the results? Or do you think it could use some improvement? The next area was some oven cleaning and there is a technique on how to clean the oven with the pink stuff. I really had to do a lot of deep scrubbing and it took a very long time to get a small area deep cleaned with the pink stuff. So I do feel like if you have a different product, it may have done a little bit better. Don't get me wrong, this did an amazing job. It's just a lot of scrubbing, and if you don't mind the extra work, it is definitely worth it. You will see exactly what I'm talking about with the results whenever I show you the review for the oven here in just a moment. The pink stuff does make a spray, so you can definitely test out paste versus spray on your oven. This would be one of those areas that I highly recommend trying another pink product or you could definitely try another product something that you could leave on one tip I have is to definitely have something that you can maybe leave on for a while and kind of loosen up some of that hard stuck on stuff in your oven Back to these little stove trays, I have found a ton of different cleaner uses and these are one of those. 
I am just going to test out a few little spots. I will show you a close up of one of the trays along with the stove top so that you can see how it turned out here in just a minute. Can I use the pink stuff in the microwave? It does come absolutely clean. I did want to let you guys know that it does look like there is some uh, dirt and grime at the bottom of my microwave. But to be honest, I have had this microwave probably 17, 18 years, something like that. And so it is extremely old and it is just kind of beveling up and discolored, but it does do a really good job and the microwave came extremely clean. Some other areas that I want to test out the pink stuff on in the kitchen is this little area here. So does the pink stuff remove mold? Does pink stuff clean grout? And I am going to show you the results here in a moment. You can see that I did do a good scrubbing on it. And for the most part, it took everything off. My grout is kind of a yellow color, but that's just the natural color of the grout. And the pink stuff did get the mold out, but I had a hard time getting the pink paste out of the cracks and crevices. So cliche. You throw my way. I know your name is written on everyone's mind. Your whole show is captivating me, but don't think that I can see right through that disguise. But when you got close to me, close to me, you had me falling so hard, baby, hard, baby. Yeah, now I get it. You got hit. Does the pink stuff clean bottom of pans? I also used this on the cookie sheet here in a few minutes and I love the result of that as well. So you will see the answer to the question, can the pink stuff be used on cookie sheets as well? And then I do have one more area in the kitchen and my question for that one was, can you use the pink stuff on wood cabinets? And as you can see from this little spot, it did take it completely off and it did not damage the wood. Now we are jumping into the bathroom and using the paste as a toilet cleaner, removing rust and hard water stains. This pink cleaner is a great stain remover. Just how well can the pink stuff clean toilets and can you use the pink stuff in the bathtub? Check out the results for yourself. If you are still watching at this point in the video, that lets me know that you are really enjoying this 14 ways to use pink stuff and you are getting a ton of pink stuff cleaning hacks from this TikTok inspired video. I do hope that you are able to grab some motivation from this miracle cleaning paste 
video as well if you were not able to clean along with me or you were just checking it out for the first time. I did want to let you know I did use the pink stuff on my wall a while back to remove some marker and it took the paint off. So that's one of those areas I would not recommend using pink stuff if you want to keep the paint on something. I did use this to whiten my shoes. So was I able to whiten my shoes with the pink stuff? And yes, as you can see here in just a moment, my shoes turned out extremely white and it did an amazing job. So I do recommend it on whitening your tennis shoes or your shoes if you want to whiten those. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. It is absolutely free to join my channel and I would absolutely love to have you. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a honest review on the Pink Stuff Multi-Purpose Cleaner Spray. I know that you are probably wondering, like I was, what is the Pink Multi-Purpose Cleaner used for? I have seen it in the store and I really wanted to try it out and figure out what I could use it on and is the Pink Stuff worth it? and all of that good stuff. So today I am answering that in today's video. So let's jump into it. The Pink Stuff Spray Cleaner has been one of those cleaners that I have been really trying to figure out if I even wanted to buy it or not. But honestly, I really wanted to try it out because I love the Pink Stuff paste. And I really want to know, is the Pink Stuff spray as good as the paste? Because honestly, if the pink spray is as good as the paste, then I am so excited to see what it really does because I've got areas like mold that I want to see if it removes and does it remove grease or how it works on grout in the oven, glass, walls, carpet, shelves, kitchen. And I've even heard you can use it on clothes. There are so many different options that you can try this out on and I am going to be trying it out on a couple different areas. I didn't try it out on every single spot that I wanted to, but I did try to hit some important stuff like stainless steel and the kitchen. I do still want to test it out on the bathroom, but that is definitely going to have to be in another video because this video is already super long and I don't want to overwhelm you guys with too many spots but I did go ahead and start it out using it on the counters and it did so well all I did was spray it on and just wipe it up and then the next area I tested it out on is in the refrigerator and I felt like it worked really well I didn't have to do a ton of scrubbing or anything all I did was spray it on and wipe let it me with know down in the cloth. comments what is your favorite pink stuff multi spray uses are there some areas that you just love using the spray on if you have used it before and if you have not let me know if you are planning on using it and what areas you would love to try it out on I feel like this multi-purpose cleaner did amazing on the refrigerator and I love the Star Drops products in general. I have used the paste in the past and I feel like that cleaner did amazing like on the grout and stuff like that. So I do recommend it for the grout and I will show you later on in the video. I do test this pink stuff cleaner um, out on the grout in the kitchen and, and I'll kind of show you the results of that, but I feel like it did amazing in the refrigerator. And I loved the fact that I literally did not have to scrub. And a lot of the multi-purpose cleaners, I have to do some scrubbing. And like when I used it on the stainless steel and things like that, all I did was spray it on and wipe it off and it came off so easily. Another area that I tested out the uh, pink stuff spray on was the freezer and in this one I am going to be honest I winded up using a sponge and I did scrub it just a little bit and the reason being is because my freezer had some ice in it and the, there was one area that had some like spilt popsicle and it was stuck on due to it being a freezer obviously so I sprayed it this on and then I 
winded up scrubbing it. And the Pink Stuff Spray Bottle product worked so well on this. I didn't do a ton of spraying I, or scrubbing or anything like that. I just kind of got it really good and wet with the spray. And then I used a sponge and I just scrubbed a little bit and then wiped it down and it came out so easily. I have to say, I do enjoy trying out different cleaning sprays and the Pink Stuff spray by far has so many different uses on it and I feel like it's a great surface cleaner. And honestly, this multi-purpose cleaner spray is one of those that I wasn't sure if I was going to really like it. I will say that the smell wasn't my favorite, but I feel like as a cleaner and a deep cleaning product in general, it is definitely tough on grease. It left a lot of sparkling clean surfaces and I even was able to get those burnt stove top areas cleaned pretty easily. But like I said, I'm gonna give you guys a full review as I go through this. I did wind up giving a little bit of a spray and clean in my pantry area as I was cleaning the kitchen and pantry and all that good stuff. I wanted to go ahead and wipe it down in here as well. And I wanted to get it all organized. I will say that it was pretty gentle. It didn't remove any of the paint or anything like that. Cause I was a little bit worried about it removing paint and stuff like that, but I didn't have any of those issues. And I did love the fact that it was able to do a deep clean as well. And it was still pretty gentle. So for example, the dishwasher, it had a caked on mess on the side of it with like milkshakes and stuff like that and old food from whenever I have loaded the dishwasher. And so I wanted to do a deep clean on my dishwasher and I used the pink stuff cleaning product. And honestly, I feel like it got it sparkling clean and I didn't have to do a ton of scrubbing I did let it sit for a few minutes and it came off pretty easily. So I was super impressed with this. So if I do have any cleaning hacks or cleaning tips with this Miracle Paste, it would be to use a little bit of water. And if you have some stuck on spots, I do recommend maybe letting it set for just a second. I hope today's kitchen cleaning is giving you tons of cleaning motivation. I personally love the Pink Stuff Cleaner in general. I feel like the paste, the spray, and all of that is so good. I feel like it does an amazing job on deep cleaning, and I love that. Honestly, it, since I'm giving you guys the Pink Stuff Spray Review today, I want to I want to be open and honest. I feel like... This is a great product. I do not have anything negative to say, really. I do wish that it was a little bit more abrasive when it comes to grout, but I didn't test it out on a whole lot of areas, so I do feel like maybe the grout might be one of those areas I need to retest this out on. I did a very small section when I was deep cleaning, but I do know that it was extremely great on grease. I sprayed it on and there was one area that I had to spray and just kind of use a sponge on twice for it to come up just because it was caked on grease. But it did so well on my stainless steel stove. I even had some burnt on stuff on my stove that it took it right off. And so I feel like the pink stuff it does great whenever you have some areas that need to be deep cleaned. I do not think that it's one of those things that I would want to use like as a daily cleaner. Um, I feel like the other multi-purposes sprays like for quick cleans and stuff might be a better option for me personally. But I feel like if you are getting a deep cleaning done or you want a really great product that you know will get something off, this is hands down a great product. So I do love it for that. I will tell you my last video, I did nine ways to clean with the pink stuff, nine uses for it. And then I also have done like 23 ways to use the pink stuff. I also have 
I want to say it was like 14 ways to use the pink stuff. And in those, I have some massive deep cleaning where I deep cleaned the oven, the microwave, um, kitchen grout, the tiles, all of that. And I feel like the paste did so much better on the grout in these tiles. But I will say that I only tested it out on a very small section and I didn't do a real deep scrubbing. I just kind of did a quick scrub. But I feel like the paste is something that I personally feel like did better on the grout. But like I said, I definitely want to do a secondary test because I didn't do a thorough testing. But if you guys have used the pink stuff paste or the pink stuff spray on grout let me know how you guys felt it did and which one you liked best when i used the pink stuff in my other pink stuff videos i will link those down below so you can see what i'm talking about but i feel like they did an amazing job on this grout like it came so clean and so white like i and i absolutely loved the way it all turned out, especially like on shoes and things like that. And I don't want you to be like, oh, well, this obviously doesn't work based on this video. Because like I said, I didn't do a thorough clean on the grout. I just kind of wanted to see like initially how it did. And I feel like it's one of those that I definitely need to do a deep kind of scrub on. But with the grease, like I said, I feel like it did a great job on that. I didn't have to do a ton of scrubbing. I did do this area twice because this was one of those grease spots that was definitely kind of thick and had a lot on it. So I did spray that and wipe it down twice. And then the table, I felt like it did a great job on it as well. I will let you know that it did leave a little bit of white film if I didn't wipe it down well enough after I finished spraying it. So just make sure that wherever you spray this pink stuff multi-surface spray that you wipe it down really well after you're finished or it will leave that white residue and you'll have to go back and clean it again. I will say something that I've noticed and I'm just going to be honest with you guys um, and I'll keep this short. Like I think it does a good job cleaning surfaces like this, um, countertop surfaces, and I think it is definitely worth its name but I, I'm gonna be honest for a multi-surface cleaner like as a spray I don't like love the smell of it I think the smell is a little not to my taste but it's not a bad smell it's just not something I prefer but I think as a cleaner it does an amazing job if that makes sense especially on like surfaces and stuff like this I needed to deep clean my washing machine. This is one of those areas that was absolutely disgusting. And I want to give you guys a real look at how well this spray worked. Like I said, I didn't love it for grout or tiles, but I didn't test it extremely well either. So I am going to definitely want to do a second retest on that. So like I said, in another video I am going to be testing it out in the bathroom so we will see on that so it's kind of up in the air on whether or not it does a well a well a good job on grout but I feel like on washing machines and things like that it would be so much easier to have a spray that deep cleans like this because it literally kind of melted off the dirt and a lot of this stuff was caked on and if you have a washing machine you already know that that dirt and stuff gets wet and it gets caked into the corners and so I used a q-tip and this spray and I felt like the pink stuff multi-purpose cleaner spray worked really well on this I didn't have to do any scrubbing or anything like that like I said I just used a q-tip and the reason I did that was because a lot of these cracks and crevices are just kind of harder to get to because they're small spaces. But I feel like it did a great job. So I highly recommend it for things like this. I really wanted to try out like the pink stuff carpet cleaner and the pink stuff laundry cleaner and just different cleaners like that. But my Walmart where I purchased the 
pink stuff multi-purpose cleaner spray they did not have any other cleaners whatsoever the only thing that i was able to find was that and i also found a toilet cleaner so i will have to look a couple of different places but i did have a really good outcome when it came to amazon and i found a ton of the pink stuff cleaners so if you are interested in trying this out i will link those links down below and i will put a ton of different ones for you so that you can try them out for yourself but i feel like this pink stuff cleaner in general is worth all the hype is definitely something i would recommend trying out for yourself there are so many uses and ways that you can use the pink stuff and like i said if this doesn't give you enough evidence of how well the pink stuff works then you definitely need to check out some of my other pink stuff cleaning videos because i'm telling you there are so many uses for the pink stuff and it is amazing for deep cleaning so like i said i'll link those down below for you so you can go ahead and skip the lines and skip the stores and have it all delivered right to your house and you don't have to try to go to a ton of different stores to be able to find it or any of that kind of stuff it'll all be there for you right underneath this video easy access and like i said have it all delivered i couldn't find it at walmart and that was so discouraging because i really wanted to try some other products but like I said, I'm just going to wind up ordering some more of these products on Amazon when I get ready to try those out as well. And I will give you guys reviews on those in the future. Like I said, I hope this cleaning video gives you tons of cleaning motivation. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a realistic product review with Barkeeper's Friend Powdered Cleaner. This is the first time cleaning with Barkeeper's Friend, so I decided to try out some areas in my kitchen. I did have someone comment before that I was cleaning a clean sink, so I wanted to give you guys some close-ups of my sink. It is far from clean. It has some rust stains on it and some other areas that are just kind of gross. So before I started using Barkeeper's Friend on my sink, I wanted to give you a close-up and give you guys a little bit of a realistic cleaning. The first way I'm going to be cleaning with Barkeeper's Friend is by testing it out on a pot. While I am scrubbing the pot, I did want to let you guys know about my sweet friend, Melissa. She is doing some major deep cleaning on her channel. She is doing a massive clean on her home using Barkeeper's Friend. She is trying it out in some different areas as well, so you don't want to miss out on her video. She is amazing, and if you guys love my cleaning content, you will love hers as well. I will link her channel down below so you can check out her video. Make sure you tell her I sent you and show her some love. Back to my cleaning review with Barkeepers. I think overall the cleaner worked great and would be a perfect cleaner for all your pots and pans. I did go ahead and test it out on a cookie sheet and this cookie sheet is probably older than I am. It belonged to my husband's mom and was one that she gave to us when we got married. And honestly, I have just kept it, not for any particular reason, but I've just had it for years. And so anyway, I did want to test it out. It did do a great job on getting all of like the stuck on foods and things like that. But as far as the color changing on it, it stayed the same. And I think it's just because this cookie sheet was absolutely ancient. <laughs> If you have any pots and pans or cookie sheets that are as old as dirt like mine, give me a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what exactly you have and how long you've had it. I did wanna go ahead and use the Barkeeper's Friend as a rust removal and see how well it does on my sink. So that is another area that I did test this product out on today. I did wanna take a moment to uh, let you know a little bit about myself just in case you are brand new or are coming over from Melissa's channel. My name is Becky. I'm a stay at home mom of two young children and on my channel I do a ton of cleaning content like today's 
cleaning product review. I also do a ton of whole house cleans and other cleaning content. So if you do enjoy that type of content, I would love if you would consider subscribing and being a part of this community. The powder did a great job on removing all of the rust stains and foods and things like that off the sink. I was super impressed with the outcome. I also wanted to just say that despite the fact that I was really impressed with all of the cleaning and how well everything turned out, I was a little bit disappointed in the fact that there was a lot of leftover like residue from the white powder it was just something that just kind of bugged me a little bit not that the product itself was a bad product i just didn't love the fact that i felt like there was a lot of white residue left over everywhere when i was done cleaning and i had to wipe everything down several times afterwards to get it off but it did do a good job cleaning another area that i used the barkeeper's friends on are these stainless steel sink stoppers along with an abrasive brush after i let them soak for a while i did go ahead and jump into cleaning some other areas in my kitchen while these soaked a bit at first my stove top and oven are stainless steel and so this particular powder worked extremely well on them i even pulled off the pans that went underneath the burners themselves and they're stainless steel and then I went ahead and did a deep scrub on those. I didn't spend a super long amount of time on scrubbing those. I feel like the longer you scrub them the cleaner they will come but let me know how you guys clean yours if you do have a oven and stove that is similar to mine. I did not clean my oven in this particular video just because my oven was pretty clean and my microwave was as well but I did do the stovetop. I've also heard that this particular cleaner works really well on the glass stovetop as well. They also have some soft cleansers that work well along with like a spray by Barkeeper's Friend. So if you have tried those, let me know down below as well. I did pick this particular cleaner up from Walmart. I do know that some of you are probably going to be wondering where to buy Barkeeper's Friend, but I did hear that you can also get it from Target and some other stores like that. So if you are interested in trying this product out for yourself or the soft cleanser or the spray or even the toilet bowl cleaner, um, you can definitely try either Walmart or Target, but I do know that Walmart has it. I definitely want to test out a few other areas with the Barkeeper's Friends powdered cleaner. So I'm going to go ahead and throw on some music for you to enjoy while I finish up the stove. And then I'll go ahead and jump into some other areas. So cliche, I see the sparks you throw my way. I know your name is written on everyone's mind. I did use a wet washcloth 
along with some barkeeper's friend on my trash can and my toaster. I feel like this would work really great on any of your appliances. I didn't want to do all of my appliances. I just felt like it would be a little bit much. But if you do have some older appliances or even some appliances that just need a deep clean, this would work great on them, especially if it is stainless steel. I hope you got a ton of deep cleaning motivation from today's video. And if you have not already tried Barkeeper's Friend and you are interested, I hope this gave you some inspiration to go out and get it and to try it for yourself. I will say compared to the pink stuff, me personally, I do really enjoy the pink stuff more just because it doesn't have all of that residue. So I personally prefer that, but the Barkeeper's Friend is an amazing product and it did a great job on deep cleaning the different areas in my kitchen. So I do highly recommend it. If you have not checked out my pink stuff video, I do a product review on that one. And that one has some massive deep cleaning. I have my oven in that one where I deep cleaned it. I also have my microwave in that one and a few other areas like the bathtub and things like that, even the floor. So make sure you check that out. Don't forget to go over and check out Melissa's channel. Like I said, I will link her down below. She has amazing content and her video is absolutely awesome as well. So go over, check her out after you finish this one and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.